everyone and welcome to session 56 of this YouTube channel. My name is Brianna and I am the dyer, designer, and human behind the Little Wolf Knits and this YouTube podcast video playlist that you're watching right now. If this is your first time, welcome. Um, it's not the greatest first time because this will look quite unlike most of my other videos with what I've worked on this past week. But if you're coming back, thanks for coming back and checking in on me and my projects. Like I said, I have not done too much. That's a lie. I've done a lot of knitting in the past week. It has mostly been on one project. So it doesn't feel like I have that much to show you. But it is now Wednesday, September 4th, and it has gotten chilly in the Lehigh Valley. So let's jump in and start with what I'm wearing. feels so good. This is the first time I am pulling this out of the closet since last year, since I put it away, probably in the spring. Oh, and I'm remembering how much I love this sweatshirt. It's so good. This is my second ass sweatshirt. This is the second sample that I've made. I have another one that I also wear all the time. It's a bit more autumnal and I am not ready for that yet because it is technically still summer. However, this sample is my Taste You Can See, which is a Cinnamon Toast Crunch inspired colorway on my schooner base. And then this is Cinnamon Sugar on 420. And it's so good. It's so cozy, it's so comfy. Um, it's like wearing pajamas, but I think it looks pretty darn cute. Doesn't it? So I am super excited to be wearing it, especially today. Because I will be seeing some yarny people later this afternoon. And if you want to hear all about that, make sure that you stick around to the end where I chat about life. But that's all the knitting that I'm wearing today. So let's chat about admin. Just a few things happening admin related that I want to remind you of. Rhinebeck Rum Smell is in full swing. I am fully participating. You will see when I talk about what I have worked on this week. And it is so fun to see y'all tagging me in the things that you're making. Our Discord channel in my Wolfpack membership is already filling up and I am super excited um, to see all of that. So if you want to join us, make sure to make. It does not need to be a new cast on. It does not need to be finished. Anything, work on any item that pertains to the bottom half of your body. So pants, shorts, skirts, dresses, long dusters, not socks. They, we're talking garments here. So leggings, anything like that. Um, use a hashtag Rhinebeck Rum Smell 2024 and give me a little tag and let's enjoy all the makes for our bottoms through the end of November. That's all that I have for admin updates. Oh man, <laughs> I was gonna say, so let's chat about what I finished this week. I finished nothing, nothing. I don't know if I've ever had a podcast so far where there has been nothing to put in the finished object section. Technically, I could say I finished a two ounce braid out of, of a spin. It's right here. Does that count as a finished object? No, because it's not finished. This is wild. So with nothing finished, I'm like, really, I finished nothing? Let's talk about what I've been working on. I have been solely committed to one project. I only have one project on the needles right now. That's how committed I have been. And you have seen it, but it looks quite different from when you saw it last. So this project is in my Tanny Casey bag and the yarn inside, I only have one full cake left. Oh no, what have I done? I am undoing my cake. I only have one full cake left and this is a messy cake. Crock Chili on 420 and it is so good, but it's even better when you see it knit up. This and that is all the yarn that I have left for 
for this one. It just smells like the beach at this point. It doesn't even smell like this bar. Oh no, the paper is really ripping. I'm gonna have to put this in something. But this is a dress that I have been working on that I think is going to be the Bayside dress and set. I know we have our Seaside dress and set. This is a DK weight one by one rib square neck. Um, and it has some awesome shaping here for the waist and bust. And then I believe this is where you saw it last week after I had done that shaping, it looked like a tank top perhaps. And now it also has some awesome shaping on the behind because it is now a dress. This is, I can't even look at it. Oh, I can't hold it up. It's a whole dress. It is, I think, past my crotch, but it still needs a fair amount of inches before it is wearable. So my guess is that I am going to at least finish this skein and continue, at this point, you just continue straight um, until that skein is done. At that point, I think I will join this next cake. And I think this is going to be like at least a midi, if not a maxi dress. And there's going to be a slit in the bottom of mine that I'm super excited about. But I don't think I'm going to need to do anything with that until I get to this cake. So I'm just loving, like I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh, I'm twisted up. How this yarn is working up. It's so cool. Then it, it does some awesome pooling once we're changing stitch counts. Again, does some cool pooling while we're changing stitch counts. And yeah, it really is settling in. Outside of those sections, like this, I just love it. It's working up so well. And I think the pooling on this waist is really, really cool. Honestly, it kind of adds to this like cinched in waist look almost like a little corset, and I love it. I love it so much. I worked about three inches yesterday from there, and I worked on this in the movies. It is getting large, so it's now my only project, which is less than ideal for the next few days that I have coming up. However, I think that means I will get a lot of work done on this, and I, would love to have this finish. I cast this on, not this past Friday, the Friday before. So this Friday, two days from now, will be two weeks. Can I finish this dress in two weeks? It would be really, really cool if I could. I had to frog back at one point, so I lost a day or two. So if I finish it this weekend, which is my plan, I will feel so proud of myself, so proud. But it is the only whip that I have on my needles right now, at least for knitting. I do have one more thing in progress. It is a spin and you've seen it already. It is my final ply, my third ply of this cool like plummy wine three ply yarn that I am creating. I spun um, two ounces of Linzer tarts already and I have my last four ounce braid that I, this is on Ramboulet, it's so soft, that I will be using to spin and bring with me this weekend. Again, I would love to have this finished and finish up my three ply. I am bringing my two bobbins, my completed bobbins with me. I am bringing this and my wheel. So the plan is to finish this and then ply them all together. And I am super excited. I don't know what this is going to be yet. I want it to be a sweater. To be determined, I have to look at the specs and see what weight it's going to be and then what garment it could possibly be. So we'll see, but I'm very, very excited about this one. And it is my only whip that I have actively worked on. I did spin on my drop spindle for a few minutes, 10 minutes this weekend. And I am bringing it with me for this coming weekend to hopefully do a little bit more work on it. I think, I don't know. I'm just not inspired with 
the weight, honestly, it's gotten a bit heavy and I think I'm going to grab, I was trying to put all four ounces onto the four little, um, the drop spindle, let me show you, that I'm using is from Carrie Cherry and it has these um, bobbins that go onto the shaft of the spindle, which is super cool because then you can ply directly from here. However, I feel like this is not quite an ounce and it is quite full. And I realize that's because I'm spinning a very fine single and it is getting increasingly harder to do that as I'm adding more weight to the bobbin. So I think I just need to let go of this idea that I'm going to fit four ounces on these. I might order some more of these bobbins from Carrie Cherry and, and just continue working on the spin, bringing two new bobbins for my shaft with me this weekend and seeing if that makes a difference because I think that it will. But that is all that I'm working on, which is wild. However, I do have a lot of plans for things that are coming next that I may or may not be bringing with me. So let's chat project planning just for a second. So many things with me this week um, that I feel a little delusional because I still have a skein and a half of a dress to finish and four ounces of a spinning braid to finish and yet I think I need to bring three more projects what I, I don't know I feel like I can't make decisions about what I want so I'm just bringing them all the first option is a skein of hand spun that I'm bringing with me this is Scruff, it's from Bramble Ridge, I think, Scruff, maybe on Cormo? Um, and there's about 380-ish yards. So, I'm hoping to use this to make a seaside shirt for myself. So that's one option, it is not cast on yet, but it is coming with me because you never know. I am also bringing, and I would like to cast this on, so I might prioritize this and get it through the crown decreases. This is Bumblebee Acre Farms. It comes in pints. And this is on their Squishy Sock Base, which is a 7525. And this is going to be a muscle bra hat for Michael. It's so good. It's so pretty. And this is a secret for him for Rhinebeck, so I would really like to work on this and potentially get it done this weekend. However... Am I going to get two and a half skeins of yarn knit in one weekend? Maybe not, but I'm bringing it in anyway. And last but not least, I am bringing some fluffy yarn with me. I doubt that I will be casting this on, but I wound it up, so I'm just gonna bring it with me in case. But this is my pearlescent colorway on my buoy base. And I have three skeins of this. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, I have three skeins of this that I have wound up that I will be using to make a cloudscape sweater scarf for my sister for Christmas. She has not given me her measurements yet, so it is unlikely that I will cast this on this weekend, but you never know. So I have a dress, my spinning project, and three whips that I have not started yet. Ooh, look at this vibe. I am clearly leaning into autumn, although I know we are not there yet, and I will not. Admit that because it is still summer until the end of September. But I am very excited to get these things started. And I have to do a little bit of measuring for Michael's muscle burrow. I'm going to weigh his one of his hats that he has left here. The one I wanted to weigh that is in... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I have... I was going to weigh one that's in my yarn, but this isn't my yarn. I have his muscle burrow that's in a... Bumblebee Acres yarn downstairs. So I'm going to weigh that. I'm going to measure the distance between the crowns and then look at my stitch gauge and my row gauge. I My stitch gauge, I know what needle I use. So I'm gonna use my row gauge so then I can calculate how many rows to do for his hat because I know he loves those so much. So I'm going to do some um, intel 
I'm going to get some intel from that hat downstairs while he is gone at work right now so I can cast this on and hopefully finish it this week. But that is all that I'm planning on casting on, which is a lot. So let's just chat for a second about what's in the shop. Okay, a few things are in the shop. Some have changed, some are just updates, so let's jump in. Our Beetlejuice inspired single skein or single day countdowns are still available. Consider this your last call if you would like to get the single skein or your option before October. In the beginning of October, if you want this skein in your hands, order it now. I will be dyeing them up next week. And then I will continue to dye them up through October, but this is the last time I can guarantee that I will be dyeing them and getting them out the door in order for them to arrive. Obviously, if you live somewhere that it will take more than two weeks to ship, I cannot guarantee that it will arrive in time, but your best chance is to order it now. We also still have our December, super shitty December countdown boxes, which are really fun and in the shop and still available. They're filling up, um, there are a bunch of different options and I will start dyeing those next month. Oh my goodness. So get those orders in this month too if you want anything from the super shitty December collection options. Um, then what else do we have? Our tailgate party collection is still in the shop and will remain in the shop. Um, but the initial batch of orders that came in is heading out the door in the next week or two. We should be wrapping that up, which is super exciting. And it is September. It is not yet fall. However, if you want to receive yarn by the beginning of fall, it is now time to order fall yarn. And by fall yarn, I mean Halloween yarn. I am so excited. I actually think fall and Halloween are different categories, and I think our tailgate party collection is very autumnal, but our Halloween colors are in the shop again. They're back for this year, so grab them while you can. We have Witch's Brew. Oh, I'm gonna forget being on the spot right now. We have Witch's Brew. We have Sisters, which is a Sanderson sister Hocus Pocus inspired speckled colorway, and it is so good. We have This Is Halloween. We have Oogie Boogie, Troll Boogies. We have uh, um, The World Is Me Familia. That is our cocoa main skein that comes back every year around this time of year for Dia de los Muertos. And we have our Beetlejuice colorway from this year. So all super exciting things. I might be missing some, honestly, I feel like I am. But check out the shop and there will be a Halloween yarn section. So don't miss out on that. And then last but not least, we have our September clubs and they are so good. They are so warm and romantic and pink, red, mauve, burgundy. I don't know. I love them. We first have our Schitt's Creek inspired club, maybe this time. And it's so good. There's pinks, mauves, peaches, plums, cabernets, and a, some light speckling of that plum and wine color in there. And it's so good. And then we have our, I was like, what is this? New girl colorway, which is sad person because would a sad person do this? And this one is super fun, again, with those like whiny cranberries, a little plum, some mauves, some cream, and this really cool sagey robin's egg blue-green aqua. That is really, really sharp. And I love both of our September clubs, so grab one or both of them now if you don't want to miss out. Is that it? That's it. Beside from our accessories, again, I think we have two Coven Collective bags, like I said, porcelain, progress keepers from Very Warm Stripes, and last call on our Cherry Bomb accessories from Sophia, my sister of LW Grafico. So that's it. That's all I got to talk about. So let's just chat about life for a second. Let's 
start by talking about what has happened over the past week or so before we start talking about what is coming soon. So the last week since I spoke with you all, Michael and I did not go to a movie on Tuesday. Um, we stayed home and watched Roadhouse, the original. Um, it was cute. It was cheesy and corny, but it was cute 80s movie. Um, and you know, Patrick Swayze, everyone loves Patrick Swayze. Um, I don't get it. I get it, but I don't get it. Like I guess in the eighties, that was it. That was, he was, but it was cute. It was, it was cute. Then Michael and I watched a little bit of Too Hot to Handle last week and we made it actually all the way. We are in the finale. We are halfway through the final episode. We were watching it late last night. And <laughs> the final episode started and we said, okay, we have to stop and go to bed. But we wanted to see what happened with one scenario that was sort of a cliffhanger. So we watched like 10 minutes of the next episode. We do that a lot. I do that a lot because cliffhangers, I hate it. So um, we have not finished yet, but hopefully we will by the next time that you and I chat. And it's just so good. I love Too Hot to Handle. It's such a good show. Um, what else? Then we were down the shore for the long weekend. It was really nice. The weather ended up being perfect, like amazing. And while we did that, we had our roof redone here. I think I told y'all we needed a new roof. So our roof has been redone. It looks amazing. We didn't have to deal with the headache. I'm so happy, happy with how that happened. And then on Monday, my older sister, Nikki, um, texted me and Sophia and said, hey, are you guys around? We were thinking of driving down the shore the day, for the day with the boy. She has two kids. Um, and if you're down, maybe we'll come there. So we said, yes, come down. So they came down. We did the beach with them. It was very nice seeing them. And man, having two boys is exhausting. <laughs> And they're not even my kids. But it was really fun to see them. I'm glad that we did. Um, and that was just cool to hang out with them. Then Michael and I headed back home on Monday night. Late Monday night. And Tuesday was a really busy work day. It was like, go, go, go. Every minute of the day was accounted for. And we saw a movie last night. We went to see Blink twice. And it was good. It was very different than I expected. Um, I'm glad there was a very big trigger warning at the beginning of the movie um, that I was not, I was not expecting, you know, there's some sexual violence and I was not expecting that in this movie. So I'm glad, I'm glad that it happened, that they warned us about it and still it was like, oh, okay. Wow, that was hard to watch. Um, but really well done movie. Um, cool. It was Zoe Kravitz directing it. So that was pretty cool. And yes, I, I enjoyed it. I would be hesitant about recommending it because of the trigger warnings. But if you feel like you're in a good place, I thought it was a, a good, a good movie to see and watch. I was surprised. Michael and I were caught off guard. We did not see any of the twists coming. So there is that. And now it is Wednesday morning and I'm usually at work on Wednesdays. However, I'm not working today because I am actually taking a little bit of a girl's trip. Michael is staying home, but I'm taking a little bit of a girl's trip with three yarny friends. Um, and we're gonna spend a long, it started as a long weekend and now it's five days and I kind of love that. Um, down the shore at the beach hanging out um, it will be funny because it is technically a local summer so it is out of season so a lot of things close or only open on weekends so it's gonna get real sleepy down there real quick but I think that is perfect for a relaxing knitting weekend so while I still think I am delusional for as much knitting as I'm bringing I I do think that we are going to get a lot of knitting done this week. We'll see. But I am headed down right after I film this. I'm going to pick up one of my friends from the bus station. Another friend is coming down and picking up 
the other friend from the airport and then we're all going to meet at the house and I'm super excited. So with that being said, I think it's time for me to wrap this up and you will hear all about our trip and what we did next time. And you'll see how much knitting I actually did next time. But until then, take care of each other. Bye.